Hi, my name is Miss Knight, and I made this video to help you understand how to take the NCFT on TestNav. I know that NCFT sounds like a strange name for a test, but it stands for Number Comparison Fluency Triad. And triad just means that they're going to give you three numbers. The NCFT is part of the math tests that you are given in benchmarks in fall, winter, and spring. It's given to you when you're in second grade all the way through sixth. And if you're in math RTI, you're going to get this test every single week. Okay, so now you know when you take this test, but now you're wondering, why do we need a video to show us? You take tests all the time and you never have to watch a video about it. Well, there are three good reasons. The first reason is that a lot of people want to round to get the answer on this test, but that is not how you solve these problems. The second reason is that other people just get so confused when they see this test. They see the numbers, but they're not sure what they're supposed to do. And lastly, we just want to know our students are doing their best. We want to give you a chance to take this test correctly. Okay, so let's get started with our tutorial. When you first get into the NCFT, they'll give you two practice problems, one at a time. These are just to show you what the problems are going to be like. After you complete the practice problems, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. This screen has four problems on it, as you can see. Each one separated by the lines looks like quadrants, and each problem has three numbers and three dots. Let's focus on the first problem on that page. This problem has a 40 on top, and then a 20 and a 50 and three dots. What we're supposed to figure out is if the 40 is closer to the 20, closer to the 50, or right in the middle. The best thing to do when you have a problem like that is to think of a number line. A number line is the best way to figure out whether the number you're looking at is closer to one number or another. Okay, so our number is 40, and I need to know whether it's closer to 20 or to 50. So let me think, if I count my tens, that might be able to help me. Okay, so after 20, we have 30, then we have 40, and then 50. So that means that 40 is closer to 50. We figured it out with the number line. Now I feel really good about answering this question. I know that 40 is closer to 50, so I'm going to click the dot under the 50. Let's practice with one more question. Let's do the one with 87, 80, and 90. They want to know whether 87 is closer to 80 or 90. Do you remember how we can figure that out? That's right, we just imagine a number line in our head. So, I picture the number line with 80 on one side, 90 on the other. And I think about where 87 would be. I start thinking about all the numbers that come between 80 and 90. 81, 82, 83, and where 87 would fall in that. It's a lot closer to 90. There are a lot more numbers between 80 and 87 than there are between 87 and 90, so I have my answer. Now I can confidently put my dot under 90. I bet you you got that answer right too, didn't you? Now that you've had some practice, you can pause the video and see if you can do the other two problems on your own. Now that you've seen and practiced how to take the NCFT, what are the most important things you should remember from this video? First, I want you to remember that there are four questions on every page. 
Secondly, I want you to remember that each question is asking you, is the top number closer to the first number, the last number, or is it right in the middle of both? Third, I want you to picture a number line in your head for every question. Try to figure out where that number would fall on that number line. That will give you your answer. And lastly, we all want you to do your very best on this test. Remember, that's the only way we'll know what you know. Good luck. Bye-bye.